I just called to say I love you and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I know I'm not a good singer, but <laughs> I just, you know what? I've been going through some shit lately, as you guys probably know, if you follow me. And um, you know what? When when folks out there who only want to call you when when something goes down and uh, they know that they're complicit in it, but they want to tell you that they love you, how much they love you, and, and that's when they want to get in touch with you, that really gets to me. So uh, with everything that's been going on, I thought about it and I was like, you know what, though? I need to tell the folks out there who do really support Lola and myself that we love them, we care about them, we appreciate you guys riding with us. Um, you know, it's not easy to go through all these things. And, uh, you know, it, there, there's always a price to pay. And I, and I kind of get why a lot of folks out there don't want to, um, you know, put themselves out there, why they don't want to stand up when there's things going on in the community, the community that we say that we have, why they don't want to say anything. I get it. You know, it doesn't serve their purpose. It doesn't help them get more fans, make more money, whatever, whatever it is that they're looking for. And I understand that, you know, um, I, I can never deny that and say that that doesn't mean something for an individual. But I hope that folks out there know and realize what this costs me and what this costs Lola, not in terms of money or anything like that, but in terms of time resources that we should be really spending with ourselves and without with our kids and stuff like that. And, and we get out there and we say things for the community because one people call me you know there's people like I've always told people my brother told me hey this is this is really important I know you have the skills and the ability to do all of this and you should get out there and you should speak for people like us whatever it is that we are you know um where you know we're people of color we're people that came to America and love America we love freedom we love the second amendment we believe in guns. And it was one of those situations where he was like, you know, you, you have the skills and the ability to do it. And I want you to go out there and do it and be and be true and be real. So, you know, when when I do all these things, I do it for that. I do it for those people as well as myself. I always do stuff for me and Lola and the kids and myself. But I do it for the folks out there. And I know you guys are out there. I know that you you care about us and that's everyone i'm not just supported by one set or group of people there are lots of people that support us uh, there's companies there's individuals there's people from all walks of life and that's why i did it that's why i do this stuff I, but here's something that happens there's times when i say things that i pay a price for with people that look like me i pay the price because I say that and I get out there. And and when that when I say those things, lots of you guys, you ride with me, right? You ride with me because this community, this gun community thing that we do is for all of us, is for everyone. And and I appreciate that. And you guys, you know, you guys ride with me, but not everyone rides with me. I, I pay a price for that. I don't know if people really understand that. And then sometimes I say stuff that in the community it hurts people because it's uncomfortable. It's hard for you to deal with what I said because it makes you look in the mirror and you know that what I'm saying is true. And for some folks out there, they don't want to ride with me on that because that might mess up relationships that they have and all that, and I get it. All of us pay a price for everything that we do. That's what life is. I always tell people, to get everything you want, you have to be willing to give up everything that you have. And uh, when I decided to do this, I knew that was going to happen. But, you know, in the process of all this, man, the reason why I'm making this video is because going through my life, lots of people deal with me like that. It's so bad, it's gotten to be like a joke with Lola, you know, when she hears people going, they, they, they're complicit, they see things going on and they let, it, they let it slide because everything's good with them and they don't want to do anything uncomfortable. 
And then they call me up and they're like, yo, we love you. We really love you. That's what they tell me. Or they call me, text me, however it is. You know, it's, it's bullshit to me personally. Um, I always laugh at those people when they tell me those things. Because to me, love is serious. Love is a serious thing. Um, I love myself. I love my wife. I love my children. And I do genuinely love the people out there that support me. I just don't take it lightly. And I don't use that L word as currency with people. So to keep it short, I already made it longer than I wanted to. I just want to say to everyone out there that does ride with us, and people do. People do ride with us from all walks of life. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.